A man from Flomaton accused of fighting with deputies and a canine during the burglary is behind bars tonight. WKRG.com mobile journalist Daniel Smithson tells us how deputies subdued him. Deputies say they responded to State Street in the Myrtle Grove community of Escambia County Thursday afternoon. Someone called 911 saying this man, 25-year-old Eric Mathis, tried to grab the steering wheel of their car. Deputies say they found Mathis after he tried to break into a home on State Street. And the Scambia County Sheriff's Office arrest report says Mathis would not comply with deputies, and he allegedly made an aggressive move toward them. So deputies took down Mathis and eventually hit him several times in the head and face, knocking him unconscious. The report says he would quickly regain consciousness before deputies knocked him out again. Deputies say Mathis woke up again and resisted. He was tasered, and eventually Sheriff's Office K-9 Zeke subdued him. However, deputies say Mathis grabbed K-9 Zeke around the neck, leading to an additional battery charge. Sheriff Chip Simmons says he's glad the victims in this case are okay and, quote, I would rather our deputies not have to use any force. I also wish criminals did not put our citizens and deputies in harm's way. Mathis is currently in the Escambia County Jail on a $136,000 bond. In Escambia County, Daniel Smithson, WKRG News 5.